here I wanted to show you uh, the finished new uh, arch and mesa, what I'm calling the mesa for the Martian set. Um, of course, these can be finished in a variety of schemes to uh, suit whatever tabletop design you have. But I wanted to just point out, um, you know, what it looked like uh, completed with the paint scheme. And again, to give you another comparison now that it's finished with the uh, other buttes that have been sold for the Martian set to date. These have been pretty popular and people have been asking me to finish them in a whole variety of colors and schemes. Um, so I thought it was uh, worthwhile putting up uh, yet another shot of them uh, now that they're done. So uh, first you can see um, that these are uh, quite large pieces. Here is uh, one of the largest uh, buttes that I sold before. And uh, this is about uh, six inches high or so. So you can see, right, the uh, larger one now, it's eight inches high. This is almost uh, 14 inches, whoops, let me see here, 14 inches long or so. Uh, this uh, mesa is about 17 inches long. And uh, these are, are so th and this is about uh, four inches high or so. So these are really big pieces. The, um, the archway uh, is uh, wide enough to uh, accommodate a 28 millimeter scale model very easily. It can't quite accommodate two abreast uh, because of the base sizes, but there's a lot of extra space beyond the actual pathway for models that have, uh, say, wide uh, you know, posing or uh, large weaponry, things like that. They'll still fit through there, but it's gonna restrict vehicles, which was one of my intentions. Um, I also um, have put these up on the site with, um, and I've put the buttes up now on the site, and you can get them unfinished. You can get this as an unfinished piece, get this unfinished or painted by me. Um, so there's some flexibility. And I have to add that these are, are pretty substantial. This weighs almost a pound and a half, which may not sound like a lot, but for terrain of this nature, that's sig significant. Um, it is a um, cast with a, a plastic resin shell, and then it is backfilled, and I've backfilled it actually with two varieties of foam, so you see one kind of squirting out there. I've uh, used a, a higher density foam for the initial coating on the inside, which really, um, if, the, if the plastic resin has missed a spot, this uh, foam actually captures the detail in case the plastic has missed it, and it's really high density, so it's actually uh, really durable. And then I use a slightly lighter weight foam, but I, I actually have increased the density of it from the earlier foams that I was using. So this is um, really feels substantial in your hand. This has got a lot of weight to it, and uh, it feels very durable. Um, so uh, anyway, I just wanted to uh, point that out and um, also mention, of course, that, you know, another example, I, I showed this uh, uh, on the site with some photos. I didn't um, do a video of it, but a customer wanted me to do uh, a set of the buttes to match some existing terrain that he had and he sent me a picture of it which included some static grass it included some reds and browns and greens along the edges and uh, so i just you know wanted to emphasize that uh, for really uh, pretty much no additional charge most of the time if you need a color match to existing terrain that you have you can always send a photo to me and uh, we can paint that up you know the set that he had had a very stark bright white very harsh gray uh, rock painting at the bottom of the uh, some tree bases that he was showing me and so it was you know pretty easy to paint this up to give that kind of a feel so you can get that sense that you know you have this sort of desert motif or you can have sort of a granite finish anyway um, hope you enjoyed taking a look at these pieces um, these are already up on the site and so you can go over and take a look at that these are going to be listed in the hill section for Terranscapes and you can always go to terranscapes.com to see the close-up photos of these along with photos um, showing them with some miniatures for additional scale purposes. Thanks. In addition to the mesas and the mesa and the arch, the arch with the butte with the arch I should say, I also developed for the Martian boards a set of rock boards. A uh, customer uh, who's been a very good customer has a Martian set and really was requesting this for 40k so that he could have miniatures that could take uh, cover safes. So when I developed these, I wanted to make sure that I made the rocks stand up enough that a 28 millimeter model would have approximately 50% of it body covered um, so that you could make a cover safe from that uh, when you're playing 40k. Well, it, this should be pretty close. These are skinks, so they're just slightly smaller than the uh, Space Marines, um, but the rocks vary in size and some of them are a bit larger and so the miniatures, if you get right down to eye level, uh, get a fairly substantial cover from those. The uh, I thought rather than do the cast rocks that I've been doing for the 
regular uh, verdant boards, the green boards, I decided that because I was going with this desert motif that I would do something more like a weathered sedimentary rock. So these are a bit different uh, in design and, and feel and uh, painted them up with some of the um, colors from the board blended into it to preserve that uh, uh, ruddy desert feel and to give them a tie-in to the board overall. But I wanted to have them be a little more distinct. I, I was uh, afraid that if I maintain too close to this color that the boards are going to begin to look sort of monochromatic and I don't think that's as visually interesting. So I decided to uh, put a little gray in there to give them a little a little pop off the board so that at a distance it's an eye catcher. Something that you can uh, want to come in and take a look at up close and see some of the vegetation that's been scattered in around it and uh, of course something to give your uh, models visually a little more interest as well when they're placed on there. So this is also in the uh, Martian board section in the playing surfaces in the Terranscapes website so you can always go there for some up close detailed photos of those as well. That's at Terranscapes.com.